Well, just a quick update. I haven't. Well, I've been cracking on with the van. I haven't done much filming. I've made some. It's a bit dark actually. Don't it? Made some overhead cabinets. Um, I've got to make the doors for them. Uh, that's all that's left, and, and then um, paint them and lacquer them or whatever. It's a bit of a mess in here as usual. Uh, I've um, completed my solo installation, so too quick. Gone for the Renogy Rover 40 MPPT charge controller. There's two. Uh, I think a hundred watt each. I can't remember. I think it's two hundred watts of panel on the roof, and I've only got the one battery connected at the moment. It's not all sorted out. That is, that isn't. But um, temporary wiring of my lights and what have you. Um, turn the loads on. Oh, the lights come on straight away. Well, those lights do. And we cab lights one as well at the moment because that's it's all just temporary wired up that. Um, I've still got to put some fuses on it. I've got some more wiring to do. I made this panel to hold this charge control. I'm going to have a switch panel in there. Um,
I don't know what I've shown what I haven't, I've just got a jumble of footage on here. So I'm just going to do a quick overview of how I've been getting on. Um, I've got my solar installed, that's my Renergy Rover um, charge controller. Two batteries down there, just um, the AGM lead acid, I haven't gone for lithium or anything like that. Uh, so I've gone with a Renergy um, DC to DC charger as well. I've started to install the electrics. Um, so I don't know what I've shown, what I haven't, so I'm just doing a bit more, a bit of an update, and then I shall uh, have a look on the editor. I've been making me overhead lockers as well. Uh, or nest boxes, whatever you want to call them, because they don't look particularly special, but they'll do. I've got to make the doors for them. Um, In the last video I put up, I was doing these. Well, that's all done now, obviously, you can see. I still got to do the back door, underside door. Other than that, we're coming along nicely. It's all nice and dry in here now. We had some heavy rain last night. And it's all nice and dry in here this morning, so that's good. Um, the plan is to have the fridge there. And then a seating area there. I did say in one video I was going to put a shower in, and one of the first early videos that not many people have watched anyway. But um, I'm not going to bother. It's it's too much hassle. <laughs> it's even I mean, I've been looking online. Many people, even with the longer wheelbase van, don't have showers. And I just think, well, I'd rather have the space. You know, a shower. It's a lot more work. It takes up space, and it's something you use four minutes a day when you're at home. <laughs> So you go away, you can go a few days without a shower. Um, anyway, so that's, yeah, so the fridge is going to go there. Sofa there, a little worktop there. Bed across there, obviously. On this side, I'm going to have a cooker. And sink, just up to... I don't want to go, I want to keep as much clear as possible over the doorway. Yeah, and that's about it. I've got a shelf I'm going to put in there. And obviously this will have a door on it as well, so it's just one slightly lower, slightly lower cupboard. The reason I've done that is because it's more than eight foot long, so I, I couldn't use one eight foot sheet of of, um, of ply. Eight by four sheet cut down. I'd have had to have bought a, a longer sheet, which you, so... I've done two smaller cupboards and I'm doing a slightly different one, slightly lower, and then it gave me a, a panel to mount the solar charger on, and obviously all the wires come down, and that isolates the solar panels, and it comes down to the fuse board down there, which distributes, which will distribute it on. I mean, the, turn the load, yeah, the lights on. <laughs> I've, I've just temporarily wired the lights up to there. Um, I haven't wired those ones in there, that's been on a separate switch. And here's one of my fake shaker doors, or one of my shaker doors. For the nest boxes, or the overhead lockers. That's the uh, small one gluing up. This bit's just an extra bit of wood. Few this is a bit more gappy, but that'll be alright. That's the one that's going over there. And what I do is I've got some of this softwood ply cut to size, and then of this 5mm, or 9mm, sorry, then the 5mm hardwood ply I've cut strips, which I just glue onto there. And it's not my idea, I'm copying it off of self built stores. They done it. But it seems to work quite well. That's the other overhead locker.
and that's about it really um, I need to tidy up in here a bit this will just be van updates this video I suppose okay well thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye